Hi guys. It is fall and I am officially rearranging my garden. Um, I started this garden three years ago when we moved in and this whole area was covered with wild blackberries. They were huge. They were the size of my arm literally and um, they were full of thorns, really hard to remove. So this was a big, big project. Um, the garden is not in a spectacular shape right now. It is overgrown because I've been having some back issues. So I kind of took it easy this summer, but it is time to take the weeds out and replant some things. Um, I can clearly tell now which plant is happy where it is and which plant is not happy where it is. So I'm just going to make life better for them. And um, the area that I am working on right now is right over here. I'm moving my irises. It is just too wet. The soil is too rich for them. I'm going to change the soil, mix more sand and little stones in the soil and replant them. Also, I'm moving the border a little bit as I removed the bushes and I put some topsoil and I'm planting some grass seed behind, right over there. I am moving my garden line, just marking it with rocks because I want to have more flowers. I'm sure you guys can understand. <laughs> so originally my border was right here where the irises are and I'm going to put better soil in and move them. And I just planted this butterfly bush. And this is Miss Molly. It is so small right now, but it will grow. It's going to be about five feet tall and four to five feet wide. It's going to be compact and have beautiful color flowers. So I also put sandy soil where I planted it because it doesn't like to be too wet and it likes a nice sunny spot. Right now it is not very sunny because it is morning, but it will be sunny later on. So it's a fine spot for it and it's kind of in the back so it's not going to be crowding anything. And I have another butterfly bush right here. This is a smaller variety. This one is amethyst. It's going to have very thick blooms, but it's going to be up to two feet or maybe up to three feet tall. I'm not sure, I think two feet. They have so many different varieties of butterfly bushes which is very exciting. So this is just what I'm working on right now. I will keep you updated as I go. Um, this right here looks so bad, but these are bleeding hearts, which looks so pretty in the spring. And all my peonies need to cut them down for winter. So overall, a lot of work in front of me. But we'll get there. Plus, it's relaxing, so I enjoy it. And my reblooming iris is about to bloom, about to open up. Look at this color, just so pretty. I love blue flowers. And it's a tall one. And you can see my, I keep saying my, <laughs> um, there's Russian sage right here. It's leaning over. That's the part I don't like about it, but I love how long it blooms. And I love the color. This is yarrow right here, which was yellow. 
I'm planting more varieties. I got two more on sale at the local nursery. And it's a deer and rabbit resistant plant. So it worked really, really well for me. I planted it last year. So this year I went back and I got two different colors. So I will update you on that also. Bachelor buttons are on the way out. Also blue. But I had different colors, as you know, because I made a video about them. Some sedum, which is partially eaten by deer. And this is Kaluna, which I recently planted. Blooming a little bit. Columbine, which grew from seeds. More seed in the back. And this is Erica. The leaves are falling all over the place. There's another one in the back. So anyway, oh, let me show you dahlia. Here's one of our dahlias. We started planting these three years ago and I just take them out for the winter. I store them in the garage and then I plant them in the spring again. And I just love these. They are small, they are upright. I love the colors. I forget the name of the variety. These are just so cute. All right, everyone. I will see you and talk to you soon. Bye.